Hi, I'm Cody. Welcome to my corner. Uh, each week we're going to be doing uh, like a little five-minute segment for me to talk about things that are on my mind. And I know that we talked a lot about this on the podcast itself, but just something for uh, a lot of people that are football fans that think they're experts. Um, I think that people need to stop telling Tua what to do. And I mean that respectfully because when somebody has worked their entire life to do something and the injuries are getting in the way and it's preventing them from playing and preventing them from, at this point now you're looking at possible future endeavors and things like that. It is not for the mass population to make a decision for. Tua is going to probably look at what the doctors say. There, He's going to look at uh, what his family says. And he's probably going to have to sit down and talk with everybody important to him. And basically say, you know, hey... He should get his opinions from people that he cares about. And you're going to hear for the next few weeks of people telling Tua he has to retire, he has to do this, he has to think about his mental health and all of those things. People need to cut that out. Because what a lot of people don't realize is the mental side of things. You hear from a lot of players that have gotten injuries, that have made them have to medically retire from whatever sport they're in. And they're talking about what it's done to them in a mental aspect. And it's important that we talk more about the mental health side of athletics. There's a lot of people that struggle, whether it's due to injury or due to performance or things like that, and these outside forces are coming in. They're dogging them, the media, us, sometimes on the podcast. You know, everybody does it, and it's so important for these athletes to kind of cut themselves off from the outside world, focus on themselves, their family, you know, whatever it is that they find, like, most important in their life. And the the thing is, is, is when you have somebody dealing with these mental health issues, I've had mental health issues for years, and I it's been a fluctuation up and down, and it's not nearly as bad as if I were to lose my career. And I think it's important that people give someone privacy when when something like that happens because there's so much that's going in somebody's mind and, and as much as they hear, it, it affects the way that they feel. It affects what their, you know, their idea of, of what they think is right for them. And it's just, it's not fair. And it's, I would use it as, a, as an example of somebody going through mental health because they're struggling with a relationship. You have the friends that are saying, break up with her, do this and that. Then you have other friends saying, well, stay with her, try to work it out. So now they're torn. They don't know what to do. Because now they're trying to make decisions based on making their friends happy. And with athletes, a lot of times they make decisions for their fans. And as much as fans enjoy it and as much as fans, you know, love to see it, it's not it's not healthy and I, I just think that, that that's what I wanted to talk about for my uh, Cody's corner a little bit more serious than most but I, I think that it's important to bring it up especially after what happened Thursday night with Tua that we need to focus more on letting these professional athletes be people not entertainers So, but I'll see you guys next week.